Hiya guys, Model Muffet here. How are you all doing? Uh, there's going to be a whole load of new players to Gotham City Imposters because of the latest free-to-play thing on the PC. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a guide on how to be awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's right. With this simple little guide, you can be awesome at Gotham City Imposters. But first of all, what do I mean by awesome? I don't mean that you're going to be the top player in every game. No. What I mean is by being awesome is that you're going to learn to play the game the way that it should be played. And that is for fun. Right? So stop fucking about looking for videos on how to like make your player a beast. Because that's not what Gotham City Imposters is about. Gotham City Imposters is about farting in people's faces. It is about using silly loadouts, silly weapons. It is about launching a parrot into somebody's face and then killing them with a sword. So that's me first bit of being awesome. Don't look for the build that's going to make you the best and the strongest player. That might make you the best and the strongest player, but you won't be awesome. Now, the class that I'm using is a speedy class, a speedy build. That has the weakest body. And what I'm using it with here is the glider rig. Now, when you're flying about as a speedy, <laughs> you practically do no damage with a dive bomb on somebody. But you know what? It's fun. Yeah, you do remember that word, don't you? Hold on a minute, it's going to kill this guy. There we go, he's dead. Bye-bye. Uh, actually, I did change my mind about which build I was going to use halfway through this game. And that is another bit of advice. Don't get used to just using one loadout and going for that all the time. Because then, if you come against somebody who's beaten you, you won't know what the fuck to do about it. Now, for various reasons, this wasn't working out quite as well as I was hoping it was going to be. Oh, this guy here does walk into my bar. How did you like that? <laughs> yeah, curry special. Curry and beer. Anyway, I died, so what else am I going to do? I am going to go for roller skates, boarding party, and a sword. And a conch shell. This can be a really fun build to use. But like using the speedy all the time, get used to dying. You know, get used to getting killed off people. But look at that. <laughs> I mean, how sweet is that? So we're playing fumigation. If you want to be awesome, do go for the objectives. You know, don't just hang around looking for kills. Do go and try and help the team out. There you go. See what I mean about the speedy build, how fragile it is. One blast from a shotgun and I'm dead. But you know what? I'm going to go and get him back. Yeah, I am. I am I am going to get him back. I am. Just watch. Here we go. Here we go. There. Parrot to the face. <laughs> and then a sword to finish him off. Now, for those of you that don't know, your melee damage and your sword damage is based on the size of your body. So, if you are playing a speedy, you're going to have to hit somebody a fair few times before you take them down. Just so you're aware of that. But the idea of playing the smaller body type is that you can kind of dance around people. And it just feels so good when you kill them, you know. <laughs> You've got somebody with their try-hard pants on, and you go and kill them with some stupid class. It, that's how you're going to have the most fun in this game. So get used to doing stuff like that. I mean, how, just look at that. How much fun is that? You want to do it, don't you? You want to be like me. You do. You want to talk like me. You want to sing like me. <laughs> Go on, sing King of the Swingers. Go on, I dare ya. Ooh, me too. I want to be like you. Alrighty. Now, I am going to go on a kill streak now because some of them have killed me and I don't like that. And if you're going to be awesome, well, sometimes you just got to go and show them who the boss is. I'm going to do that. Maybe not now, because I think I might die. <laughs> there you go, slice some dice, land on somebody's head, give them a headache. Oh no, I, I, I do die. You do have a nice kill streak coming up though, I do promise you. Somebody stole my kill there, that was deliberate. 
just for everyone's information if you kill somebody I was going for that is kill stealing if I kill somebody you were going for that is me helping you out just so you're aware of the rules slice 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 and slice 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 and slice 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 See, somebody stole my kill. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> oh, sorry. I've seen this a couple of times for editing, and <laughs> this little secret still makes me laugh. Conch shell is absolutely brilliant for bringing somebody out of the sky. If you're not familiar with it yet, use it. It's probably one of the best stuns in the game come on where is everyone I want to kill more people here we go there's some people slice 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 one more slice 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 <laughs> I actually used to be a butcher. <laughs> I don't know if that like, helps me, but yeah, it's true. I was a butcher for about nine years. Oh, this rampage that I'm using here is the gun runner one. Speeds you up, and it's just funny. That's that's why I use it. Slice. Oh no, no. All right, game over. So that's pretty much it. Yeah, if you want to be awesome, <laughs> be like me. Don't use the cheap builds, use the fun builds. Because it's more fun. And it's less cheap. Should make some kind of sense. Anywho, this is Muppet Out. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to rate, like, and subscribe, and share it to your friends, and, you know, do something that will make me worldwide famous or something. Did I say worldwide? I meant worldwide famous, stupid person. Bye!